To start off, let's add a plane. Shift A plane with 20 meters. Now in edit mode, right click and subdivide. I'm going to increase to 20 cuts and increase fractal just a little bit. Right click and shade smooth. We can add a subdivision modifier and apply it. With proportional editing activated, just move some vertices for an even ground. I'm going to open Asset Browser, select the natural set and just drag and drop the objects to the 3D view. You can get this set for free on my Gun Road. There are 37 objects and there's also a bonus set with 40 extra objects. I leave the link down in the description. I'm going to add a texture to the ground. Again, just drag and drop. Now let's switch to Geometry Node Editor. Select the plane and click New. With Shift A, search for Distribute Points on Faces and drop it here. Also, Instance on Points. Now, to see the plane again, let's add a Join Geometry and connect Group Input into Join Geometry. We can add the grass from the outliner, but don't select it, just drag and drop and connect Geometry to Instance. We can control the density here and to randomize the scale, Let's add a random value and connect into scale. And here we have a minimum and maximum value to randomize the scale. Now with Shift D, we can duplicate random value, change to vector and connect into rotation. And now we can randomize the rotation on the individual axis. We can add more objects. Uh, we can duplicate these nodes with Shift D and connect group input into mesh and instance on points into join geometry. Now we can add the object, but I want to use a collection, so I'm going to select the flowers, hit M and create a new collection. Now just drag and drop the collection. Connect geometry to instance and we need to enable big instance and also separate children and reset children. And now we can just randomize the scale and rotation. Now let's see how to add the attributes to the modifier. For example, I'm going to connect density into group input. And now we can edit this value directly in the modifier. We can rename it if we want. Now let's see how to paint the distribution with vertex groups. I'm going to use the flowers, so connect density into group input. I'm going to rename it. Now click this button and we can select a vertex group, but we need to create it first. We need more geometry, so I'm going to subdivide the plane once. And now let's go to Object Data Properties, 
hit the plus button to create a group. And now let's go back to the modifier and select the group we just created. Now let's go to weight paint mode. Now we can paint where we want the objects or points, in this case the flowers. We can adjust the weight. Red means 100% and blue 0%. We can add a matte node, switch to multiply, and with this value we can control the amount of the points or the objects. Ok, so now let's organize the nodes, this way will be easier to find something. Let's add a frame and now select the nodes and press Ctrl P. In the node tab we can rename it or change the color and also scale the letters. Ok, that's all, thanks for watching. See you next time.